All right, here we go. Today we have actor R. Marcus Taylor, best known for playing Suge Knight in Straight Outta Compton. Welcome to Vlad TV. Thank you for having me, sir. Well, it's our first time here. I want to start in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So you grew up in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Well, I was born in Elizabeth, but I was raised in Plainfield, New Jersey. Okay, got it. And what was Jersey like back then? So we're talking about the 80s and 90s. Um, well, for me, it was good and bad. You know, um, it was hard. You know, like, if you, if you say the wrong thing, you're going to get touched or worse. And, um, and it's funny because my father was the mayor of our, our, our city. So, you know, I got a lot of flack for that. <laughs> being uh, uh, a mayor's son and, you know, a lot of bullies, you know, lots, uh, lots of bullies. And uh, they did some things that would be considered definitely illegal. But back then, you know, you, you dealt with it and you didn't snitch. I, I never snitched. You know what I'm saying? So, but other than that, it, it was, it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. Living. I mean, as a kid, did you get in trouble, get arrested, or you were relatively a good kid? I was a homebody. Um, I didn't, I didn't have any siblings really, so you know, I'm, I'm no, I, I had, I'm only child. So um, my interest it started, you know, in martial arts. Um, I started martial arts in 1981. And uh, what I would do, I would just pretend I was the characters in action films and I would act out and mimic their martial art, their movements. And um, actually that got me really, actually really good at martial arts, you know, and it helped me with training also. Um, uh, okay. I mean, if you talk about 81, you're five years old at the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so you were just a little kid basically doing karate. Yeah, and I wanted a, a, an Asian teacher, like from the movies and stuff. But <laughs> my father's like, nah, you're gonna learn from us, meaning the brothers. We got, we got original fighting black kings in your own town. You're gonna learn with us. And I, and I did, and uh, my first sensei was, was tough and firm and you know, we went through, like, before Dyfus, you'll be reported for Dyfus, we had it rough. We got our asses kicked all the time. Uh, be, being hit with sticks, uh, push-ups on the knuckles all times, uh, uh, you're sweating, uh, sparring with no gloves. So, and this was, you know, I was like five, learn, mm. you know what I'm saying? And, and it was tough, but, you know, it made me, you know, strong. Okay. And seeing that you started learning martial arts that young, by the time you started getting into like junior high and high school and so forth, when you got into altercations with other kids, would you just whoop their ass or did martial arts teach you to like back away from situations like that? Actually, I was afraid. I was mm -hmm. afraid. Um, my first fight, I had when I was just starting martial arts, I got my ass kicked easily. And I was like, this doesn't work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, but, uh, you know, I, I started, as more time progressed, I learned more fighting, like on a street level martial arts. That's, that's how we were, we were, we were taught how to kill. We were, we were taught how to kill a man. That's what I, how I was taught. And I was always reading magazines. And I remember in the fifth grade, um, I, I got, they, they tried to jump me. And uh, I was at a private school at the time. And <laughs> uh, the guy, the main bully, um, you know, he, 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 he came at me, you know, char he charged me. And I closed my eyes and I did a spinning heel kick. I put him in the hospital. He was unconscious. Mm. Oh, his wow. oh, dude, his parents wanted to uh, uh, put me in jail, press charges against me. Um, it, but um, 
my my father, you know, he was he was he's heavily into politics, and he wasn't about that, you know. And my mother, she's a a, a school she was a school administrator, in the tough like she was a principal of some of the toughest schools in New Jersey, you know, like East Side High, you know that, and she ain't take no 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 smack. Okay, well, and as you got older, you actually started winning tournaments. Yes, uh, it was my first. Uh, growing up, I knocked out when I was 12 and he, and <laughs> it's funny about that too. He was a cop and after everybody was gone and we were in the locker room, he comes up on me and grabs me and says, who do you think you are? You try to crap again? I'm going to kick your fucking ass. You understand me? And I said, man. You mess with me and I'll tell my daddy and he'll hurt you. My father was a Vietnam war hero. He's killed people. He's got shot eight times and blown off a bridge. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a hero and he don't play that. And my father's very, he's not like I am. Like I get my temper from my mother's side. It's the Irish, the Irish and black in us. They, they don't take, you know, my, my, my mother's side of the family are crazy. <laughs> but my, my father is, was very chill, you know? So I told the cop, I'll, I'll tell my daddy, and he left me alone. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, by 2011, yes. is that when you started getting into acting? Yes. Um, well, like my, my career, my fighting career, I was like a... I just talked to my coach earlier today. I I wasn't fully committed in 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 fighting full time. I mean, I thought I was, and um, I, I there was a point where I was winning and knocking guys out like easily, and people wouldn't fight me. I tried to find like you know opponents, and at that at that particular time. Did, like nobody wanted to fight me. They were scared because I was like an like a un unknown type, in a sense. I just came out of nowhere and, and it started just whooping ass. But I, you know, but um, I finally I got some some fights and um, but I I wasn't committed. Like the diet, you know, the diet, the this you have to be this, you have to be a full time fighter to be successful. You have to be. If you're not you're wasting your time. So you need to uh, find out what, you, get a plan, find the right people to train with, find the right manager and, and promoter, and, and start, from, start slowly, build yourself up. And me, I just wanted to fight the best. I, it's like, I've, I've been in so, I've been in, I don't know how many fights. So I'm, I'm, I'm used to any scenario, like combat. I've, I fought, uh, like four or five attackers more than once. Um, I won more than I lost, but I ain't win all those times I, I got jumped. But I, 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 when I did, it was good. Well, I mean, what you're competing in, which is uh, Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Uh, Muay Thai, yes, sir. Mo Muay Thai, sorry. I, I mispronounced it's all good. it. Uh, Muay Thai, karate, there's really no money in that. The real money is in boxing or UFC. Yes. So, so why not go into the areas where the real money's at? And this is, and this is the thing that people ask me. I like kicking people in the face. I love, and I, and I learned boxing from like Harold Knight. And he was, Harold Knight was one of um, Lennox Lewis's assistant trainers. And he was a former cha champion as well. There were, from my, my town, there were a lot of boxers like a lot of boxers in Plainfield, top contenders, world champions. And, you know, I, I learned from them. And um, I just said, I, I feel comfortable. I can box anybody, but I love, I, I so enjoy kicking people in the head. That was my fight name, kick you in the head. Uh, okay. Well, you can do that in UFC though. Yeah. And, I, I did I did two non-sanctioned MMA fights in Russia actually because I lived in Russia in 2012, mm. and um, they were tough guys. Um, 
I both I won both of those knockouts. Um, I got I started grappling like like serious grappling in 2002, and um, like it just it it made me a so much a better fighter. Like like I mean so much everything was easier because stand up I, I can do all day and I'll take you out, but with grappling it, it changes the game. And I, I like personally, I like Sambo more. And that's a, that's a Russian grappling art. And I like that as well. So I, I really got this thing about grappling. I'm not a, I, I'm not a black belt because I always, I uh, always grappled no gi. You know what I'm saying? And uh, now I do gi now. So maybe after 20 years, I'll get my black belt. I don't know. But um, I just, I just like, I just fought. Like the Muay Thai, Muay Thai fights and kickboxing, I thought at that time, at that time, I thought that was the toughest sport. I'm like, you're fighting elbows, knees, you know what I'm saying? Um, clinching, kick, you know, you're kicking people with your shin. I just thought that was the most brutal sport. But in actuality, boxing, in my judgment, in my judgment, boxing is the, the, the toughest sport to do. It is the toughest because all you have to, you depend on or these, mm -hmm. just these, nothing. And, and, and your athleticism and your footwork, your footwork, your stance, there's, there's a, tr I mean, it's a true art to boxing. It is a science. It's a, it's a definite science. And, um, I, I would train a lot with MMA fighters. I mean, I, I've, I've trained and sparred with world champions like from, from Bellator to UFC, um, a lot of guys I, I train with, you know? So um, I got used to, you know, the grappling part, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I guess it just didn't, it didn't happen quick enough for me.